Well, you see, stranger danger would be the strain, the danger of the being a jerk. Camera, why oh now I'm recording myself singing being a jerk. Yup. So this is probably the first and only time you are ever going to see me with my hair up because it is 1.31 in the morning and I am lazy. I decided that it was time to have a late night great night. So I was talking to Jamie on the phone. Say hi, Jamie. Hi. That's what he sounds like on my phone through like three things in the speakerphone. So I was telling him a story about the stupid things I've said to my mom. And I remember this one time where my mom tried to talk to me about stranger danger. Stranger danger? What's that? Well, you see, stranger danger would be the danger of talking to a stranger, which in includes the nice old guys that say, I have candy, get in the van. In fact, these old men in the van are probably the people that you should be avoiding. Literally, if someone walked up to me and was like, Hey, little girl, I have some candy. Get in the van. My first question would be, do I look like a little girl to you? Like, really? My next question would be, what kind of candy you got? Because I personally could really go for a Milky Way. My third question would be, what year is your van, and can I change the oil in it? Because may I just state that motor oil is the sexiest smell ever. If you've never had motor oil on your hand and smelled it, then you have never truly been turned on. The end. So anyway, back to the story. I seem to get sidetracked very easily. Hmm. Hello? Give me a second. Did you hang up on me? No, the call failed. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, guys. I have a failed call from James. If you did not hear, my ringtone is Second and Sebring by Of Mice and Men, which is the opening to all of my videos. I'm awesome. So, literally, I told him this story about how this one time, because I, like, emailed all of my followers, which is, like, 150 people who participated, emailed you guys all Valentine's Day cards, of which they were Batman Valentine's Day cards, and came in a box shaped like the face of Bruce Wayne in disguise, aka Batman. So we're driving one day, and my mom sits me down in the car, and she goes, Sweetheart, you really ought to be careful with who you're giving your personal information to. You never know who's going to try and steal something. And so, of course, you know, my smart ass turns around and is just like, No, Mom, it's okay. Listen, um, I actually got an email from this guy, and his name was like Harold or something, and he's from Africa. <laughs> And she just turns around, and she looks at me, and she just kind of goes, Well, I'm so glad that you made friends in Africa. But, so I cut her off in mid-sentence, and I'm like, Mom, no, no, wait, it's okay. Because, you see, um, where he comes from, it's like everything's bad, and doesn't have any food or anything. So he asked for my social security number and my credit card number so that he could get to the United States and come live with us. And she literally just turned around and was like, no. You did what? And I'm just sitting there and I'm staring her dead in the face, dead serious, and she's freaking out. Well, yeah, Mom, you told me to always help out anybody that needs my help, so I did. And I sent Harold my social security number and my credit card number, and he's going to be coming to live with us in the United States soon. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, Mom. I'm just kidding. 
It's okay, I'm just kidding. And this poor woman, this poor woman is just freaking out. And she's having a heart attack, but I'm just like, come on, I'm not a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> if somebody wants to show up at my house because they want to stalk me, come here. I'll open my window right now, climb inside, come take a shower with me. Go ahead, I dare you. Come here. I mean, seriously, what is somebody going to do? Climb up to my apartment window, come in the window, and just be like, Hi. Like, that's kind of weird. I heard, I heard she was letting me shower with her. I'm here. I'm here. I heard, I heard that we could take a shower with her. I came. I did. No. Nobody is going to do that, and if you do, seriously, I'll take a shower with you. Like, all kudos to you for climbing through my apartment window. Like, before I call the police or stab you, I will take a shower with you. Also today, I tried to convince my boyfriend to teach me how to properly adjust testicles in case he ever lost his arms and needed someone to help him. I also have a hard time saying the word vaginal. Oftentimes, it comes out as one of the following. Vagello. Vajesus. Vegeta. And my all-time favorite, Vajaginal. And as a YouTuber, and knowing that I obviously edit my videos together, I was given a wonderful pickup line this evening by a rabid fan. And right now, I'm going to repeat it to you and probably laugh my ass off in between bloopers. You know what you should edit together? No, what? My dick into your pussy. Like, excuse me? What? I mean, my all-time favorite pickup line is, Hey, baby girl, I've got a penis. Thank you, Andrew Dennis Piersack and Brian Stars. But what? I mean... Come on now. I come up with better pickup lines, and I'm the nerdy one who sits here and makes weird faces at my camera, thinking that it's not running, but it is. Here, let me show you a clip of what I've done earlier. Oh, what is that? There's something on my face. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I hate this camera. It never shows me what side it's on. Ah. Oh. Uh... What? <laughs> what? Oh god. I gotta delete this. I can't show this to anybody. Oh my god. But on the off chance I do. Hey baby girl. I got a penis. And this is what I do with my life, guys. Yep. I highly hope you enjoy that close-up of my face. I had to double-check my window to make sure none of you were climbing through it, even though the only person that would probably do that is Sean. Just kidding, I love you. But um, I'm probably going to actually make uh, a combination video with my buddy James on Thursday, where we're going to do an improv session for you. And if all goes well, we're going to teach you a little bit of stage combat. All right, guys, so I'm going to peace out and finish my phone call with James. Say goodbye, James. Bye. He's the one that sings really pretty that I'm always ranting and raving about. Okay, so I'm going to go have phone sex. I mean, have a completely normal conversation at 2 in the morning with my buddy, James. For the record, we are not having phone sex. Disclaimer. We're talking about puppies and seahorses. And he's yelling at me right now. So, I love you guys. I'm going to go get yelled at. Um, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. P.S. Sean, my ears are a 10. <gasps>